I'm Mike and this is Remotorcycle. And I was asked recently by a subscriber, Paul. What's up, Paul? I hope you're doing well. Paul asked, hey, I heard from a friend how you load and strap down your motorcycle on your trailer. And I was wondering if you could demonstrate it in a video. Absolutely. Let's show you this right now. You need ratchet straps. You don't want those cinch straps. You want ratchet straps that wrap around because they stay tight even when they're wet. I've got these Harbor Freight um, wheel chocks here and they've got this flip up device that allows you to uh, drive in and then they flip up against the tire. And yeah, you just need some tie down points and then the rest is just all technique. So let's get into it. So I prefer to power drive the bike on and I do that standing next to it. You don't wanna sit on the seat because when you lose clearance at the ramp, you lose contact with the ground and things get sketchy really fast. Looks like this. Kickstand is up, need first gear. There's first gear. And you just look at that target right there for where you want the tire to go and get going. Boom. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the kickstand, which kills the engine in this case. Let the clutch out, and when I let go of the brake, it should stay because this wheel chock has got me. And it's got it pretty well balanced, but I like to give it a little bit of a kickstand lean so that if it does decide to tip one way or the other, it's gonna hit the kickstand and not completely fall down. That was step two. Let's go to step three. So with the bike leaning a little bit toward the kickstand side, I wanna put a strap on the kickstand side and get it secure. It doesn't need to be tight yet, but I just wanna get this side sort of snug. It's already leaning this way. That way when I put a strap on the other side and start to tighten it, this side won't move. So it'll start to compress the fork immediately instead of you know, trying to do it one side at a time. I already got an advantage on this side. So I can, I can pull over here. If your, uh, if your strap has a loop on one end here, it's nice because you can loop it around the handlebar like this, and then you don't have anything metal on the handlebar, you just have strap. So that's how it goes. You just throw this over the top like this, hook it to the, hook it to the loop. And then you mess with these for four hours, seems like, until they become the right length. I got it hooked to the trailer, I got it hooked to the bike. Start with a little bit of slack on your ratchet strap. That way your first couple cranks are nothing. And then you'll get wrap around that core. So we're gonna get that slack taken up and you'll notice right away it's starting to tip the bike over more, right? So I wanna leave it right there. All I did was just tip it a teensy bit more. The kickstand is still down so it's safe and it's starting to squeeze the tire a little bit, you know, out of place. So that's where I wanna stop and then I wanna get a strap on the other side. Make sure you don't pinch any cables or wiring with your strap. It needs to be on metal. Up on this side, we're gonna go a little more crazy because Oh, that's a gyrocopter. It's so far away, there's no way you can see it, but a gyrocopter, like like uh, little Nelly from You Only Live Twice. I'll contact you when I get over the island. Okay. Be careful, Bonsan. I haven't seen one of those over the house ever, really. That's wild. You gotta be a daredevil to ride that thing. The rotor auto-rotates, there's no power to it. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's crazy. All right, so tighten her down. And every time I crank this right-hand side, I get a little fork compression, and I also start to level the bike a little bit at the same time. That's what you want. Ultimately, you want to level the bike. So I'm going to go ahead and see all that, all that fork compression. 
I don't want that fork compression. If that's bouncing around on the road, the whole thing could just come unhooked. So you want this to be so tight, basically down there. Now I've got the bike straight and the fork's compressed. So here's where we have to get this to. So we just go for it. And as I crank, it comes level and compresses all at the same time. You test it by pulling on it again. I still got tons of fork left. I don't want tons of fork left. That means that when I'm on the road and I bounce, it can come undone. There's more fork left, see? I'm getting pretty tight over here, so I would check for level, and I'm pretty close to level at this point. So I might take a click out of this side. And then I take a click out of the other side because I'm, I'm pretty level now, so I, I just need little bits. The idea is to keep it level, or plumb, straight up and down, and get that fork compressed. See, there's very little fork left with this bike. <laughs> this bike is so squishy. It's got so much fork. So we're gonna go a little more. The idea is that you're down, so that as you're bumping, you hit a nasty bridge junction or something and the whole trailer just, you know, I don't want this bike having enough slack where it lowers down and unhooks. That, that hook's only in the hook that far. The bike only has to move that far to release the hook. That's, you know, if you've got an inch and a half of fork left and the bike compresses over a big bump, you could just unload, you could just let go of both straps all at once and the whole thing would be all over the world, right? So you want that thing down. You're not gonna hurt the fork. So we're not hurting the bike or anything like that. We're looking good. So I add a third strap to the rear. The rear one can just be a regular um, friction strap. It doesn't have to be a ratchet strap. You can go through the wheel like this and just hook it. I'll just cruise over here, pick up this pick, this point right here. All right, when you're all done, everything's nice and tight. You're ready for the road. Put your kickstand up, turn your fuel off if you have a petcock. I usually pull the key so it doesn't go missing on the trip. Now you can get to where you want to go so you can enjoy the next ride. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. If you enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up. If you have a question, drop me a comment. I'm Mike, the channel's Remotorcycle. We'll see you soon.